throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Oftentimes in old tales of mythology and folklore, the lines between good and evil are clearly distinct from one another. The powers of good always trying to maintain order and peace in the world, while the evil forces try to undo that order. But then there are figures of legend who do not really fit into either one camp or the other. The Trickster. The Trickster figure is a being that goes out of their way to upset the balance, changing things in their world or making things difficult for other characters within their own stories. Their motives can be for heroic purposes, or for sinister purposes, or just for the instant gratification that they may feel from their antics. Regardless of motive, the actions of the trickster almost always lead to a drastic and sudden change. Every culture on Earth has some variation of the trickster. Though they often appear as male, they can be any gender or even change genders on a whim. They can be any age, any size, and many have the ability to change their appearance at will. They could be a human, an animal, a god or a goddess, a spirit, a demon, or a monster. They are often, though not always, depicted as outcasts, travelers, thieves, hermits, strangers in strange lands, and societal rogues. No matter the form that they take, the trickster figure is a crosser of boundaries, alternating between cleverness and stupidity, kindness and cruelty, deceiver and deceived, breaker of taboos and creator of culture. As with all figures of mythology, tricksters have a purpose in their respective stories. Heroes are viewed as paragons of what people and society as a whole would like to see themselves as. Villains and monsters are abstract depictions of the darker side of humanity. But tricksters can be seen in a number of different ways. The savior, the conqueror, the giver, the taker, the teacher, the fool, the stone that caused an avalanche, or even the candle that illuminated the darkness. One of the most common forms of trickster is that of a prankster, one who seems to delight in proving himself smarter than others and plays pranks merely for the fun of doing so. Celtic mythology has the will of the wisps, phantom lights that appear as travelers at night, luring the unsuspecting to a trap such as a deep bog or over the side of a cliff. The Tengu of Japanese mythology, who are usually depicted as anthropomorphized crows or kites, would often use magical powers to torment people who dishonor the Dharma code, embarrassing the arrogant by casting illusions or even causing nightmares. Robin Goodfellow, better known as Puck, is a domestic sprite from English folklore and the Shakespearean play A Midsummer Night's Dream, who would sometimes accomplish mundane tasks of a household, but then play knavish tricks on residents if he felt he had been disrespected, or was simply looking for amusement. There are times in stories when the hero figure who is often shown as rather virtuous and infallible, especially in battle situations, has to play the role of a trickster when raw power and combat prowess is effectively useless. In the Odyssey, Odysseus and his men were trapped by a giant man-eating cyclops. Instead of fighting him and likely getting himself and his men killed, Odysseus tricked the cyclops into getting drunk and referring to himself as nobody. While the Cyclops slept, 
Odysseus blinded him, leading the giant to cry out to his brothers that nobody had blinded him, and so no help would come to the Cyclops. Odysseus and his men played one additional trick on the Cyclops by clinging to the underbellies of the Cyclops' sheep so as to escape the cave. Another example is found in the Cornish story of Jack the Giant Killer, who faces down a myriad of giants throughout his life by means of tricksy tactics such as guerrilla warfare, magical items, and riddles. There are many stories where the trickster performs their actions solely out of personal greed or instant gratification, perhaps even out of spite. In the Chinese story Journey to the West, the Monkey King Sun Wukong managed to achieve five different forms of immortality, one of which came from eating the sacred peaches of immortality that he was ordered to guard. While he was eating, he learned of a great feast of the gods to which he was not invited to. Angered, he crashed the banquet and drank all of the immortal wine and ate all of the immortal food, before drunkenly stumbling upon the laboratory of Lao Tzu and ingesting the alchemically derived pills of immortality. In Greek mythology, Eris, the goddess of discord, was not invited to the wedding of Thetis and Peleus. Embittered, Eris snuck her way into the wedding and threw a golden apple between Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. The three began to fight with each other, each believing she was more beautiful, more powerful, and more deserving of such a trophy. The three powerful goddesses quarreled with one another over the apple, until Zeus stepped in, and had the Trojan prince Paris decide who was the fairest of the three, and award her the apple. Paris eventually gave the apple to Aphrodite, but his actions brought upon by Zeus's word, the three goddesses' argument, and most importantly Eris's spite, would lead to the events of the Trojan War. But even these tricksters are not necessarily evil in nature, however destructive their actions may be. There are some villainous characters who thrive on malicious tricks and dishonesty in order to achieve their goals. In Egyptian mythology, Set, the god of chaos whose ambitions and greed and jealousy knew no bounds, coveted above all else the throne and respect his brother Osiris had possessed. Set mercilessly slew Osiris through deceptive means that were said to include shape-shifting into a savage beast while his back was turned, or even tricking him into being trapped in a box and drowned in the Nile River. In grim fairy tales, the big bad wolf toyed with Little Red Riding Hood manipulating her into revealing personal details and diverting her from her course with the intent to devour the child and her sickly grandmother. The cunning continued when the wolf assumed the grandmother's clothing and enticed the naive and innocent child closer to his waiting jaws and would have succeeded if not for the intervention of a woodcutter. Though it may seem like tricksters are often seen as self-serving individuals, delving in mischief and cunning only to get what they want or to save themselves, there are some trickster figures who do what they do for the benefit of mankind and the world as a whole. In various Native American cultures, Coyote, who can be both helpful or harmful depending on the story, is sometimes a benefactor for man and animal alike. One example was when he had organized the theft of fire from three fire spirits who had kept it for themselves, guarding it greedily atop a mountain. 
Coyote, with the aid of Squirrel, Chipmunk, Frog, and Wood, stole a portion of the sacred fire during the changing of the guards. After a harrowing chase, the fire was trapped within Wood, who would not give it back. Coyote would then go on to teach mankind how to get fire from wooden sticks. In Akan mythology and Western African folklore, the spider Anansi sought to bring stories to the world, but the stories were in the possession of the sky god Niame. The sky god demanded Onini the python, Osebo the leopard, Moboro the hornets with stings like fire, and Moachia the fairy in return for his stories. Though a high price and seemingly impossible for anyone, let alone a small spider, Anansi succeeded in achieving Nyame's price through well-devised tactics and no shortage of cunning, and he shared the Sky God's stories with the rest of the world. Perhaps the most famous trickster of mythology is Loki, the god of mischief of Norse mythology. Loki is unique among trickster figures in that he manages to encompass all aspects of the trickster trope throughout his respective mythology. He is a shapeshifter, a traveler, an outcast, a prankster, an intellect, and one who schemes in order to get what he wants to belittle others, help others, save his own life, or out of spite. There are times when his schemes and ideas are beneficial to the gods. In one story, the gods of Asgard had made a bet with a giant that he would not be able to construct a wall around Asgard in a week's time. When it seemed like the giant would win his bet, Loki transformed into a mare and managed to lure the giant stallion away from his work ultimately hindering the giant's efforts enough that the wall was not completed in time. Meaning that, because of Loki's aid, the Norse gods ultimately won their bet against the giant. There are other times when his pranks are downright cruel in nature, such as when he cut off all of Sif's hair while she slept. In order to avoid being slain, Loki came up with a new scheme he went to the Svartalfar to commission the sons of Ivaldi to construct Sif's golden hair, Frey's ship Skidbarnir, and Odin's spear Gungnir. Loki continued to meddle in this story, and his machinations led to the construction of Thor's enchanted hammer, Mjolnir. As the Norse sagas progress, Loki's mischief grows more and more malicious, perhaps fueled by envy or frustration with the gods, culminating in his actions indirectly leading to the death of Baldr, the god of light. Baldr's death would jumpstart the chain of events that would ultimately lead to Ragnarok, a battle that will bring about the end of the world. While in mythology and folklore, the lines of good and evil, wise and foolish, mortal and immortal, are normally clearly established, there is often at least one trickster who blurs those boundaries, hopping from side to side out of necessity or ambition or just for fun. They're essentially on their own side of things, perhaps good-hearted characters with a streak of mischief within them villainous figures who lie and cheat because they are incapable of nobility, or downright troublemakers who cause harm really only out of fun as opposed to true malice. One never truly knows what their motives may be, but that they make their presence within mythology all the more fascinating. Today, the trickster survives as a character archetype although not necessarily a supernatural or divine figure. Like the mythical counterparts of old, 
he or she is usually depicted as a clever, mischievous person or creature who tries to survive the dangers and challenges of the world using trickery and deceit as a defense, or who simply goes about their days playing the fool while making fools of those who would underestimate them. The trickster appears in all cultures, toying with the unsuspecting, finding the loopholes of law and order, creating shortcuts to progress, and holding up a mirror to the world so that we may see ourselves from a different perspective.